Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Arts Page. We're here on the Kingston Waterfront National Gallery, to be exact, to celebrate 50 years of Japan-Jamaica relations. And in commemoration of that golden milestone, the Japanese government has a little treat for us. So, let's see what they have. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the press screening of Japan Kingdom of Characters anime, animation exhibition. I hope you can find your favorite Japanese characters in the exhibition and understand the notation of the pop culture side of Japan. A traveling showcase for Jamaica-Japan relations at 50 Organized by the Asian Countries Cultural Arm, the Japan Foundation, the exhibit aims at deepening the bonds of friendship between Jamaica and Japan through cultural exchange. And all access has been granted to the Jamaican public through the National Gallery of Jamaica. I'm very excited about this exhibition. I mean, it's very different from what we normally do, uh, but it is something which is very important culturally in Japan. Uh, of course, as this exhibition illustrates, uh, but which also has a tremendous following in Jamaica. So it is a good opportunity to think about the cultural dynamics between Jamaica and Japan. From Astro Boy of the 1950s to Pokemon of the 2000s, the exhibit provides a comprehensive look at Japan's love of characters. Tour guides at the National Gallery of Jamaica have armed themselves with all the answers to your questions, so don't be shy to ask them about the exhibit. Since 1964, the Jamaican and the Japanese governments have been engaged in diplomatic relations which span various areas, so it was only natural that cultural exchange would take place. A half a century on, Jamaica's popularity in Japan is seen through reggae and dancehall music, Blue Mountain Coffee and Red Stripe Bear. In turn, Jamaica has seen an increase in the prominence of Japanese animation, manga and characters influencing our youth. We see it in the cartoons, stuffed animals, stationery, video games, and even the style of dress. And now, Jamaicans can get a chance to view Japan's modern pop culture in a more accessible and tangible form right here on the island. Everybody's I hope many people, many, especially the younger generation, know about these Japanese characters. They originate from Japan. And from all indications, everyone seems to be happy with the exhibit. Amazing. Hello, Kitty. Thank you. Everybody say hello, Kitty. I think it's a wonderful exhibition for families to visit, you know, because there's something for, for, for the children and for the adults. Um, and it really is an exhibition which I hope will also um, bring people to the gallery who have never been here before. Right? It was very interesting for me because my grandchildren talk about Hello Kitty, the Dragon Ball Z, and I hadn't realized that all these were Japanese characters. I think it's appropriate. I think it's appropriate because it really goes to the people level. It's about the culture of the people. And I can tell you it's already very educational. A number of persons weren't aware that Hello Kitty was a Japanese character. They thought it was elsewhere. Um, my daughter, as you can see, loves it, loves Hello Kitty. And to link it now with Japan, I think, gives it a different dimension. The same is true for some of us as adults. We didn't know as well that it was Japanese. 